specialist is coming in in the morning. Yeah. Probably get a few answers about me coming back. Yeah, well, you've just got to concentrate on getting better. Yeah, yeah. I've had uh, plenty of time to think while I've been here. I don't want to be finished off by a bullet, do I? But, Bob... No, what I mean is, uh, I need to prove it to myself. Well, I don't want to spend the rest of my life, and, you know... Hasn't any... anybody told you? Told me? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this. Bob, you're not coming back. Your replacement starts tonight. I have an appointment with Superintendent Chandler and Inspector Monroe. Right. And your name? Sergeant Gilmore. Right. Give some money. Someone will be down in a minute. Craig Gilmore. Matt. Matt Boyden. Ah, uh -huh. so uh, you're the famous Matt Boyden. Don't believe all you hear. You know what the jungle drums are like? Well, I don't know. Drums aren't always wrong, are they? Well, you picked a fine time to arrive at Sun Hill. I'll give you that. Things are a little tricky, are they? As bad as I've known them. Whatever spin top brass puts on it. Sounds like fun. I love a challenge. Come on, Andrew. Craig Gilmore's a good man. I know you're going to be impressed. I'm sure I am, sir. But? Come on, tell me what's on your mind. It would have been nice to be consulted, that's all, sir. And to have been given the time to speak to Bob Cryer. Yes, well, I intend to go and see Bob myself. I hope so. Because right now, he doesn't even know he's been replaced. Come in. Sir. Craig, good to see you. Inspector Munro, Craig Gilmore, your new sergeant. Hang on a minute, Matt. Welcome to Sun Hill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. stand exactly where they are. What the bloody hell's going on? We have a warrant to search these premises. We have reason to believe drugs are being sold here. Come on, leave it out. If everyone shuts up and cooperates, we'll be out of here in no time at all. Manny. Dad, what's going on? Main thing. You stripped off lab, they want to search you. Wait, can we watch? What's going on? Morse here reckons there's drugs being sold in my pub. And he can't seem to find any, can he? Where are you going? To my room. Maybe. Nothing. I hope you're having me on. Maybe. Ray, hang on a minute. I'll be up in a minute, love. What the hell's going on? Mr Chandler promised me I'd be rid of those stuff. Yeah, and you said they'd have the drugs on, and what happened? They knew, didn't they? You could tell by their faces. But what if they knew I was working with you lot? There's no way they could know. And don't worry, Ray, you're safe, I promise. I'm not helping you for fun, you know. It's for Mandy. This pub's her own. I want her to be safe. She will be. Yeah, right. After this joke. Well, they're supposed to have rebuilt Moss Side and Hume, but I don't think anybody bothered to tell the gangs and the dealers about their city's bright new future. Well, with any luck, you should get to meet one of Sun Hill's up-and-coming gangs. In the cells, if all goes well. Got an operation on the go at the moment, targeting local kids. Reckon themselves as some kind of our cases. They've moved from street robberies to selling drugs, violence and intimidation. It's a little more serious than the picture Matthew paints. Come in. June. Good to see you. June Ackland, Craig Gilmore. How do you do? Hi. I, I'm sorry I'm late, sir. No, it's OK. Take a seat. I was visiting Bob in hospital. Uh, how is Sergeant Cryer? Not too good, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm hoping to get to see Bob myself in the morning. Oh, well, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. It'd be a mark of respect after all the years he's given to Sun Hill. Yes, of course. He was a good officer. I don't want the recent problems here to affect you, Craig. We need a new start. And in many ways, you've come at exactly the right time. Sun Hill needs an officer like you. Like me, sir? Well, young, with fresh ideas, and we're all very keen to embrace new ideas here. I think you'll give us a completely different perspective of the job, which is why we were so keen to get you in the first place, wasn't it, Andrew? Uh, yes, sir, that's right. And both Matt and June have been at the forefront of change. 
I think we've all got a lot to gain from your unique experiences. It is all about experience, sir. Uh, I've only been a sergeant for a year, and I'm new to the area. My colleague's experience will be guiding me, not the other way around. Yes, of course. Excuse me. Chandler, go ahead, Alex. Yeah. OK, we'll just get back here. No, no, no. Yes, I'll still be here. OK, thank you. Sorry, everybody, I'm going to have to cut this short. It's the idea I've got a problem and I'd like to find out what's happening. Craig, good luck this evening. Thank you, everybody. Andrew, can I just have a moment, please? Just uh, keep an eye on him, would you? I uh, think things could get tricky until people get used to having him around. Well, he seems very confident. I'm sure he can look after himself. Yeah, that's as may be, but there are still some at Sunhill who might not respond well to someone like Craig. Uh, Craig Gilmore is a sergeant. Everything else is irrelevant. I'm glad to hear it. But it's a very naive attitude, Andrew. So? Thank you. You should have seen Bob. He was still expecting to come back. Nobody had told him he'd been replaced. I'm sorry, Craig, this isn't your fault. Man management, Sun Hill style. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Superintendent Chandler wasn't exactly boosting anyone's confidence. What, do you reckon he was having a diggerless? Craig, you joined us at a difficult time. Sergeant Cryer was well respected. It's come as a blow to everyone on the relief. However, I don't think it means we're getting everything wrong. Uh, no, sir. But we can improve. I want you to look at things afresh. How we do things, individual officers, what's happening on the streets. You'll get nothing but support from your colleagues here, isn't that right? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, if I'm stuck inside, sir, I'm not going to see much of anything. I know it's my first night, but uh, if I was out and about... OK, um, that makes sense. If you want the deep end, it's yours. June, Matt, is that OK with you? Oh, God. Duncan, thanks for getting in early. So what happened? Pear-shaped, I think the phrase is. So how can I help? Keep in touch with Ray. Make sure he knows he's not on his own. OK. But do you think he'll still trust us? Who knows? But if he gives you a hard time, just remember, he's in the right. Guff. Look, I know it must be strange having uh, someone new around. Don't worry about it. Come on. I'm only here because what happened to Bob. I had a mate shot while I was working in Manchester. It's not easy. No. No, we all miss him. Especially June, they were good friends. Oh, I see. You don't mind me dropping out of cat or custody, do you? On night shift, you're more than welcome. Listen, thanks for sticking up for us back there. Mr. Charlotte isn't exactly impressed with the uniform just at the moment. Yeah. Well, we all know who chose me and we know why. I just wanted to make sure the superintendent knew that I wasn't going to be used by anyone. Yeah, well, whatever your reasons, I'm glad to see we're on the same side. Whatever's gone on before, I just want to make it clear. I'm not interested in office politics. I just want to do the job. Yeah. Right. I'd better get changed. I'll see you in a minute. Another night in paradise. Let's hope it's a quiet one. Fat chance of that happening. I spoke to Smith and he's gutted by what's happened. Good. So it should be. Tony, his career's on the line. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before his dirty Harry routine. We all make mistakes, Jim. Let's wait and see what the results of the inquiry are, shall we? She's always got the last word, isn't she? What do you make of him? We'll see. Didn't let Mr Chandler phase him, did he? Yeah, well, it's early days, isn't it? Well, I hope you're going to give him the same chance you give anyone else. I'll treat him the same as I treat anyone. How about you? Seems very sure of himself, considering his inexperience. Yeah. Seems like a good bloke. Yeah. Have you seen the new Sarge? Oh, they couldn't look at anyone more different if they tried. If the rooms are true, that is. Yeah, well, at least we get some new ideas around him. Well, I don't know about that, but he's well tasty. Listen to you. Sergeant Cryer's just been shot. No. Yeah, but you don't care, do you? All those years of service and he's been dumped just like that. Holly! Sergeant Cryer was ready for retirement. What's happened is tragic. But the truth is, we all need a new blood around you. Everybody knows that, including you. Don't pretend you care. The only person you give a toss about is yourself. Everything all right in here? 
Let's get on with it, shall we? Ray's only just taken over the Prince of Wales. He's trying to make a difference. He came to us with information on that gang. So, we don't want to let him or his daughter down. Any more than we already have, eh? I know how hard things have been, but we can't let any of this affect how we do our job. As you all probably know, Sergeant Cry's injuries mean that, unfortunately, he will be unable to return to his duties. However, our work continues, and Sergeant Gilmore has joined us from Manchester. And it's going to take a while for him to get used to things, so I want you all to do your best to help him settle in. Craig, anything you want to say? Yes, thank you, sir. You lot know Sunhill, so I'll be learning from you, so please, no practical jokes, no wind-ups, and no showing off. If we all get on with our jobs, we'll be the best of friends. Other than that, let's just get out there and make it up as we go along, eh? Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, the rumours are all true. I am a puff. <laughs> OK. Is what I call an entrance. Or a man with something to prove. Hey, fair dues to him, though. It takes guts to be so open. Well, oh, yeah, it's not as if we didn't all know, anyway. He knows. If any of us say anything out of turn, we'll be in front of a disciplinary board quickly and say George Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's right. It's not as if he's going to be so open on the streets, is it? Well, why wouldn't he be? Because he'd be a target for every gay basher out there. Him and whoever happens to be with him. Are you getting paranoid, Anthony? Hey, don't worry about it, Tony. I don't think you're his type. You're too old, mate. Oh, yeah, like you two are telling me you'd share a shower with him. Uh, Tony? That's all right, Sarge. We're on our way. No, no, Tony. Sergeant Gilmore wants to see a bit of Sun Hill. I'd like you to show him that. Off you go, Rough Rider. You are the man, Tony. Oh, Sarge. Ah, uh, Reg, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, Sergeant. Anything you wanted? Uh, no, well, just to welcome you, you know, and to say that we are all really looking forward to working with you. Reg. I mean, it... Sarge, I'm just talking to the... Right. Oh, my Oh, sorry. Sergeant. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Oh, well, I'd hate to think you meant to bump into me. Here you are. <laughs> DC Duncan Lennox, how are you doing? Ah, so you're picking up the pieces from this evening, are you? Yeah, well, actually, I'm on my way to the Prince of Wales now. Some of the gang have turned up and have promised the landlord our support. I think you could do with a pretty active uniform presence till this is sorted, of course. Why don't you let me worry about what uniform presence we have? If that's OK with you, Duncan. <sighs> yeah, Sergeant. Sir, <laughs> so, Tony, you're going to take good care of Sergeant Gilmore now, giving the benefit of all your experience. <laughs> You should show him Tony Stamps hidden somehow. Yeah, I'd like to show him Cass's hidden sun hill. <laughs> I don't think he'd be that interested somehow. <laughs> Let's just drop, shall we? Oh, Tony, I never knew you were such a sensitive boy. Drop what, Tony? Nothing such. Come on, we better go. There's been a shout at the pub. Tony, I'm sure you don't want to be babysitting, not with all your experience. I'd rather go in the area, Carl, all right? Dodge? You too. Consider this to be your first and last warning. If you want to take the piss out of me, do it to my face, but do not ever use my sexuality to wind up the male officers. Is that understood? Sarge. We've had a shout, haven't we? the off then, are we? Yes, Sarge. And your vehicle check. The check you always make before you take a car out. I'll get on to CAD. Let them know we'll be delayed. That's right, Matt. A vehicle check. Tony and Sam are on the way to the pub. We'll join them later. Over. Understood, Craig. Received. Yes, Ridge. Sarge. When I was Federation rep, uh, I came across a number of organisations I thought might be useful to Sergeant Gilmore. Organisations? Yeah, four officers who are gay and lesbian. Quite handy, I thought. Really? Well, yes, because, well, the service itself can be a very intimidating organisation. Four officers who are gay and lesbian. Or bisexual. Everything OK? A slight delay with the area car. Why? 
Craig wanted to go through some procedural points with Vicky Hagen. Did he indeed? If you have an accident and the investigators discover the car hasn't been checked, you'll be stuffed. I don't want to see that sort of slackness again, understood? Sarge. Cass, it's your responsibility too. Sorry, Sarge. Any problems? No, sir, it's been sorted now. Vicky? I forgot my vehicle check, sir, it's my fault. You're supposed to be an area car driver, Vicky. I'd expect better. It's been covered, sir. I don't think it'll happen again. He was, but he couldn't resist Vicky's charms. Oh, and I thought he was all right. Uh, he's a stickler for the small prints, isn't he? He pulled Vicky up on a vehicle check earlier. Oh, that I would love to have seen. No, they all start the same. He's going to spend most of the evening trying to prove that he's the boss, and we're going to get dumped on doing the real work. All right, Ash, you heard what the man said? It's drinking up time. Uh, ding, ding, round two. Cuts fast. Now, please. Are you uh, going to cuff me, love? Uh? Come on, you, out right now. What? We ain't doing nothing, right? Right, the licensee's asked you to leave. Now leave. I thought you were our mate, Ray. What? Have we fallen out? Outside. This is our pub, Ray. Don't forget it. You wait here. I'll see how Duncan's doing. Keep going, lads. Keep going. Oh, what a surprise. The gang's out here and he goes inside. Yeah, well, they've already had a go with the girl and she's too scared to say anything now. Never mind. Super Sarge is here. <laughs> they seem to have it all under control. It's your own fault, Vicky. You should have done a car check. Yeah, like you did one. Uh, we did, actually. And I wasn't with the show-off sergeant, was I? You just watch your back. Thought I wasn't his type. You would have thought they'd give us someone with a bit more experience, wouldn't you? Dad a Chandler, wouldn't it? I mean, what's the point in putting someone in the job if they can't do the job? Get real, Sam. It's politics. New sergeant and gay. Look great in police review, innit? Uh -huh. Mandy, we can't help you unless you talk to us. Your dad reckons it was one of those lads that gave you that black eye. He's worried about you. Well, he shouldn't have started stirring stuff up at you lot, then, should he? Those lads will get away with whatever they can unless people like your dad make a stand. We need his help. Well, you got it, and you blew it. We just want to help you, Mandy. Well, don't bother. Look, shall I go after her, Sarge? I think she's made her position clear. No, you and Nick can go. You've done all you can. Go? Look, I'm sure we'll manage. And before you both disappear, get that panda cleaned. It's a police vehicle. It's not your front room. Anything? No, she's too scared to talk. Go on, you two. The rest of Sun Hill awaits. And don't forget about that car. Sarge, we've got enough bodies here as it is. R Ray's supposed to be a priority. It's a funny thing about rank, Duncan. When you decide something's a priority, suddenly everyone agrees with you. Never a quiet minute in custody, is there? Always something to do. Such? Go and find yourself something to clean, will you? Yes, Such. Oh, very subtle. I'm famed for it. Craig's not exactly endearing himself to the relief so far. Well, he's got his way of doing things. I suppose we all have. Yeah, but it's his first night. I'd expect him to be a bit more diplomatic. Since when have you been a diplomat? Never. But I didn't come in and alienate half the relief. I think someone's got to have a word with him before things get out of hand. Someone? Let's just wait and see how it goes, eh? They've gone. So? We'll drive past as often as we can. Call us if anything happens. If anything happens? I need protection right now. Even if we had enough officers to keep a visible presence here all night, I don't think it would help. It would help me. We can't stay here forever, Ray. And having a bunch of uniforms hanging around is only going to make things worse. Worse? What's he talking about? Be like a red rag to a bull. It just wind them up even more. I wish I'd never bothered trying to help you lot in the first place. Look, Ray, I know you must be worried. Worried? Is he joking? Superintendent Chandler promised me protection. So you better know what you're doing, Sergeant. You're just going to have to trust me on that, aren't you?
Toy. Hmm. Another social visit? Duncan's going spare. He says Craig's obsessed with the state of the cars. What, because officers are using them as mobile canteens? Oh, come on, June, you know what I mean. If you're so worried, I have a word with him. Well, like you pointed out, I'm not exactly a diplomat, am I? All right, I'll talk to him. He's back soon. I've said, I'll do it. Can anyone here spare me a minute or three? I'm overwhelmed by your enthusiasm. Sarge, I'll... Oh, no. Cheers, Jim. You deserve a break. I want to brush up on some of our pronoms. A bit of local knowledge might speed things up a bit. We can do it sitting down. Sarge. Thank you. Finish what you're doing first. It's OK. I've had enough. We're supposed to be on our refs. What's he playing at? What if he thinks I'm impressed, he can think again. I wouldn't jump to any conclusions. Come on, we've all seen what he's like. I don't think we have as yet. Right, this is Marky Baldman, this Mike Jackson, and this is Ben Thompson, who calls himself Semtex. Mm, it's quite a bunch. No wonder Ray wants him out of his pub. Most of them have been at it for years. Oh, yeah, they've served their apprenticeship all right. Burglary, fraud, and then cars. I suppose drugs seemed like a natural career move. Yeah, well, why not? Well, there's a large gap between aspiration and ability. What do you mean? What they aspire to be is way beyond what they're able to be. Just thugs. Thugs who seem to be getting away with it. Well, that's not very positive. Yeah, but it's realistic, though, isn't it, Sarge? They are getting away with it. There's nothing we can do to stop them. You know, it's that sort of defeatism that stops us getting results. Well, that's not fair. If you think they've won, they have. And any copper who's given up hope might as well give up being copper. Uh, Craig, sorry, you got a minute? Sure, we've uh, just about finished here anyway. Okay. Polly. Oh, PC Page. Yeah, nothing that a swift kick up the backside wouldn't cure. Well, I think you're being a bit harsh, and she's still upset about Sergeant Cry. She's a good officer. I don't doubt it. But tell me, is this about PC Page and Sergeant Cryer, or is it actually about me? Well, I appreciate Sergeant Cryer is a very hard act to follow. You're having to deal with events you had no control over. June, I've no time for hints. I'll go around the houses. Let's just get to the point for both our sakes. Okay. We've got a lot of very depressed officers. You think I'm making things worse? Well... I take it you've spoken to Matt? We're just trying to help. Why don't we do this thing properly? How do you mean? We'll go and see what Mr Monroe thinks. <laughs> Craig, there's no need to make a big issue out of it. I, was... I know. But we're not going to agree, are we? Well... Come on. I'm not making an issue. I just want to do it properly. I'll sit down, both of you. Right then. Let's hear it. Sir, I think it would help if we could speak freely. Agreed. June? I'm not here to have a go. I don't apologise. You're not happy with the way I'm doing things? That's fine. You could be right. What do you think the problem is, June? Well, the relief are struggling, sir, and I don't think that pulling them up over every little detail is going to help. What would you suggest? A bit of leeway, just for a while. Craig? June's right about the relief. They're all over the place. And yes, they're turning it all on me. But I'm not here to win friends. Well, that's one thing, but uh, alienating your officers is something else. That's not my intention. So what do you suggest? June and Matt know these officers better than I do, and when they say we need to give them some leeway, they may well be right. But as far as I'm concerned, we should do the total opposite. They're too caught up in what's gone wrong to get anything right, and the one thing they're not is motivated. And how would you recommend we motivate them? By them going out and getting results, sir. By working them harder and giving them their pride back. June? We could easily push them too hard, sir. My instinct is to trust June. Yes, sir. 
I said I wanted you to come in with fresh eyes, and there's no point in me asking for that if, as soon as you see something, I'm going to stop you acting on it. Do as you see fit, it's your call. But don't forget the pressure they've all been under. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your faith. I meant what I said, June, about trusting you. It, uh, maybe Craig spotted something we've all missed. Just hope you're right, sir. Oh, hold on a second. Nick Klein, sorry. Nick. Sorry, I'll get there. Uh, Polly, make you a bit of cad, will you? Sarge? Go on, I'll be there in a minute. This way. Right, everyone. It's time to show the good citizens of Sun Hill exactly what we're made of. Sarge? A beat sweep should keep everyone on their toes. I want you all at the White Gate multi-story. Top floor, please, in uh, 15 minutes. Vicky, you and Cass can carry on in the area car, but keep an eye on Ray, will you? Right. Well, come on. At least pretend you want to do your jobs. A bit sharp out of resting you. Just can't wait to get back out there. Now, why don't I believe that? Sergeant Gilmore isn't very impressed with me at the moment. I don't want to give him an excuse to give me another lecture. Rach, get your coat you've pulled. Sarge? Polly can take over in here. You're coming out with me. Sarge? Ah, Matt. Hope you don't mind. Thought I'd treat myself. I'm swapping Polly for Reg. Unless, uh... No, no. Be my guest. Well, come on, then. Let's see what you're made of. Mm. Obviously, Valley's experience. Oh, thanks a lot. All right, uh, you all right? Yeah, on top of the world. Mm, wasn't having a dig. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Are you all right? Apart from having a sergeant that thinks I'm next to useless, apart from that, I'm just great. You're not on your own. I obviously rubbed him up the wrong way. He thinks all I'm fit for is CAD. It's not you. You'd rather be out with Reg. Must be doing something wrong. Yeah, you are. There's nothing you can change. What? We're women, Polly. And he obviously doesn't like women, does he? In any way. The trendy new face of modern policing. It's fantastic, isn't it? smithy has got a lot to answer for. This mess is all down to him. Let's get a height to you. Beat sweep, eh? Anyone brought the brushes? He's out to prove himself. He's got us running around like idiots. I don't think he's got anything to prove, has he? I'm telling you. He's new, he doesn't know what he's doing. On top of that, he's... What, gay? And you say he's got nothing to prove? Something on your mind, Reg? No, I was just thinking. Yeah, well, I thought so. You have a very expressive face. It was very brave of you to be so open with us. Really? Why? Well, it left you open to criticism. And why would anyone want to be critical? Well... Not everyone appreciates. You know, he's uh, comfy. You're not one of those, are you? Oh, no, Sarge. Uh, no, not me, no. I'm glad you're so comfy with me, Reg. It's reassuring. There you go. Being is not a criticism of your abilities, you know. Yeah, well, maybe he's right. Maybe my attitude is all wrong. You take it too personally. Forget it. You'll cope. What if I don't want to cope? I mean, what if it's just stopped being worth it? What do I do then? The windows are broke by the time we got here. Whoever did it's long gone. No prizes for guessing who did it or why. How is he? Angry. He's in Cyber Mandy. Anyone else attending? Well, no, not unless it escalates. Sergeant Gilmore's setting up an initiative of his own. <laughs> Sergeant Gilmore. I'm going to explain to Ray. If you look sloppy, people think you're sloppy. And if they think you're sloppy, you might as well be. Any officer on my relief who doesn't look their absolute best will be in trouble. No exceptions and no excuses ever. Sarge, why meet up here? Well, it's a lovely view, isn't it? And we're out of sight. 
There's nothing scares the public more than a bunch of uniforms hanging around at this time of night. Right, beat sweep. We're in pairs, but we work as a unit. Reg, you're with, uh... P.C. Hayward, Sarge. P.C. Hayward. Stamp and Harker, you're together. Nick, you're with... P.C. Clark. P.C. Clark. Right, we're going to go through, street by street, as much of this estate as we've time for. It's just pretty quiet around here, Sarge. Well, maybe we're not looking hard enough. What are we looking for, Sarge? Anything and everything. Every car, every alley, every door that's open, every light that you don't think should be on, every drunk and every dosser. We're going to do our job. We're going to let the people who live on this estate know that we are looking after them. Well, don't all get carried away, everyone, will you? Come on, let's go to work. You're staying here, Mandy. Your dad's right. It's a lot safer here. You call this safe? Don't make me laugh. I'm off to Helen's. Look, we'll give you a lift. It's the least we can do. Yeah, right. Then they think I'm a grass as well. Forget it. Locked up by a blackie. It's not right. What have I done wrong? You know exactly what you've done I've wrong. I've done nothing wrong! Sorry, show him to his room, will you? Yes, Sarge. Yeah, none of that. Thank you. Reg. Right, you two, I want a word. What on earth possessed you? You know he's harmless. Well, he's obviously drunk, Sarge. Yes, I know that, Ben. It's what he does. But why did you have to arrest him? Sorry, Sarge. It was uh, Sergeant Gilmore's orders. Sergeant Gilmore ordered you to arrest Les? Yeah, Sergeant Gilmore was very precise. He said, make no exceptions. Leave no turn on st stone unturned. Yeah, it's what he said. I'm sure he did. Thank you both very much. Oh, no. Jim, yeah, the owner of the warehouse has been informed that the door is open. We're going to check it out now, Sarge. One minute, out. Tony. One minute, please. Received. What's going on out there? I mean, all he's interested in is making sure everything's nice and neat and tidy. Or it's one of those obsessive compulsive disorders myself. Yeah? Well, I'm obsessively knackered and compulsively cold here. Yeah. Hey, you heard the man. Every little thing. Right, so now we get to wind up Joe public. Excuse me, sir. Oi! We're on the other end. It's going on from 595. Can I have a car check, please? Car parked in Zor Road. All units repeat. I see three male, possible stalker on the Jasmine Allen, reported wearing a red jacket. Last seen heading south down Canley High Road. Ray hasn't stopped since his beat sweep started. Yeah, tell me about it. 595, read your PNC car check. Mike 366, Lima, uniform Charlie. Reported stolen from Rudkin Road last week. The registered owner is a Mr Nazir Patel. Over. Well done, Sam. Right, assume you're not actually Mr Nazir Patel. Right, well, I'm 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 Mr Nazir Patel. Right, Oh, it's a mouse, Sarge. Hey, stop, please! All right, that's enough. What's your name, son? Tony. It's a bit late for the swings, isn't it? Earth to Reg, come in. Yes, Nick. Yeah, I know I kept you waiting. All received. Over. That's right. State things out there, you're better off in the safety of CAD. Yeah, well, I wasn't given much choice, though, was I? I die. See. See what I can do, Sarge. Right, what happened? Suspected theft, Sarge. This man was seen running away from a motor vehicle. These videos were found in the boot. What's your name? Your name, please. Tony, Sam? No, I don't think it's Tony or Sam, Sergeant. 
Oh, Roz. Sorry, Sarge. Actually, I think he's foreign, you know, Sarge. Come on, give it up. Look, come on. It's just possession. There's hardly nothing there. Please. Sir. Is that Mandy you just brought in? Yeah, that's right, sir. The bloke with her is Mike Jackson. I was looking at his mugshot earlier. What have you been up to? Well, it's possession. Yeah, we caught him in the park. It's part of the new beat sweep. Turns out to be a very effective policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Reg, you don't mind if I sit in on the interview, do you? Jackson's linked to the gang Mandy's dad's been helping us with. I'd like to know what she's doing with someone she's supposed to be so scared of. Just get on with it. It was only a bit of blow. It was just for personal use. Does your father know you're a drug user? He ain't got to know nothing. I am 18. I've admitted it was mine. What more do you want? Mike Jackson, he's your boyfriend, is he? We hang about a bit. Mm. That would worry your dad, wouldn't it? What? What do you mean? Mike Jackson. He's good mates with Marky. And that little gang have been harassing your father. Look, leave Dad out of this. It's got nothing to do with him. Tell him. You knew when we'd be raiding your pub, didn't you? Well? I don't know what you mean. You told Mike all about your dad's involvement with the police, and that's how they knew we were coming, isn't it? Because of you, that gang know your dad's been helping the police. You've landed him in a lot of trouble, haven't you? They promised Promise that... what? That they wouldn't hurt him? Was that before or after they gave you that black eye? Or is that just to make sure your dad didn't suspect that you were Mike's latest tart? The last time Mike Jackson was in this station, it was after a 67-year-old woman got put in hospital. Of course he got away with it. His girlfriend at that time gave him an alibi. Please, you can't tell my dad about this. Yep, yeah, Mandy, we do need your help. If you're hard enough to ruin your dad's life, Mandy, you're hard enough to take the flag. I didn't want Mike to get in trouble. Well, what do you want? I want you to tell me everything you know about that little gang. Especially where we can find them and their drugs. Where's that blessed leader, then? Oh, well, he's still at the station taking it easy, isn't he? He's probably polishing Jim's buttons as we speak. Are oh, you two going to be moaning all night? Why? Well, Sergeant Gilmore's made it pretty clear what he thinks of us. Hey, listen, we are a good team. Yes, we are. Oh, really? I thought we were feeling too sorry for ourselves to be any sort of a team. Yeah, yeah, like you're any different. Well, maybe he's right. Maybe we are all getting sloppy. So why don't we do what we're paid to do and show this Gilmore just how good we are? Duncan, Sergeant Gilmore's got something you might be interested in. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, if you're not bothered. <laughs> What's he got? A new way of polishing his panda cars. I didn't take you for a bigot, Duncan. Aye, right. Just because he's gay doesn't mean he's above criticism. Well, Sergeant Gilmore's been told where we can find the gang. Oh, and he knows who told them about this afternoon's raid. But if you're not interested... From what Mandy said, it's an illegal drinking club. Now, as far as we know, Marky and his cronies should be the only ones in there. Yeah, and this time they won't be expecting us. Sam, I don't want anyone getting hurt just because you've been watching Gladiator, all right? Ah. <laughs> By the book, I'm polite as we're allowed to be, yeah? Sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir. And Sam, let's go in there looking like officers, shall we? Right, we're starting to lose the police. Sam, sit down. I want everyone searched, OK. Thanks, Reg. That's right, don't mention it. It's all about staying calm and being cool. Maintaining discipline. Yeah, thanks anyway. Well done, everyone. 
Knife. Sarge. There you go. There's enough class A there to send a few of them down. Once the pressure's on, they'll soon start talking. <laughs> well, let's hope it was worth it. Oh, you do realise you've got Reg to deal with. Endless stories of how he saved your life. <laughs> You're not getting away with this, I'm telling you. No one hits me and gets away with it. A one in charge, GBH. Shut up. Uh, what's going on? He smashed up my face. It's brutality. A one in charge. He's trying it on, Sarge. No, he's intending to make a formal complaint, which he has every right to do. Sam? So what happened? Or did he just smash his own face up? No, Sarge, no, he didn't. He was resisting arrest. I was trying to stay out of hospital, all right? Sarge. Sarge. All right. Well, that's your side of it. If there is a complaint, Inspector Monroe will have to deal with it. Yeah. Go on, go to my office. Sam. Are you going to sort my complaint out or what? It'll be sorted, don't worry. Sarge, I'm off to see Ray. Tell him that he's safe. Yeah, good. Listen. Sam Harker, he's just not the type. You deal with Ray. Leave the rest to me, OK? Yeah. OK. I will be a second. Sarge. Marky boy! Get off! What are you doing? Hey, I thought we were mates. Mates? We ain't mates. Oh, we are. Even your buddies can see how close we are, eh? What are you up to? Well, someone told us where your little drinking club was. What are you on about? One of my mates told me. One of my mates grassed up that lot in there. Cheers, Marky. Hey, and don't you worry, all right? What are you trying to do? Well, it works like this, Marky. You stitch up one of my officers and I will stitch you up. Only I'll do it properly. Look, everyone can see what great friends we are. Do you understand, Marky? You can't do this. I already am, mate. Now, about that complaint. Right, Sarge. Relax. You're in the clear. Your friend's had second thoughts. He's dropped his complaint. Oh, right. Well, that's great. Yep. It's the last thing any of us needed. Well, he was adamant, though, wasn't he? Why did he change his mind? I don't know, Sam. He just did. Right, well, uh, well, you know, thank you, Sarge, and um, I'm sorry. Have you got anything to be sorry about? No, no, I, I, I was just... Oh, thank you, Sarge. Forget it. So, an eventful night, then. I've enjoyed myself, sir. I heard a whisper about a possible complaint. Oh, it's nothing serious, sir. Uh, young Marky's changed his mind. Really? I think he realised he'd be wasting everyone's time. And did he have a case? Sam wouldn't have stepped out of line, sir. Good night's work, then. Well done. They're a good bunch, sir. I'm going to enjoy working with them. Well, let's hope the feeling's mutual. Oh, I'm starving. Anyone for a fry-up? Oh, yeah, no, no, I'll have celebration breakfast and all of that. Are you coming, Paul? Oh, no, thanks. I want to go home. See ya. See you later, Paul. I reckon Mr Chandler's going to be well impressed with our new sergeant. Not a bad result getting that game, was it? And it wasn't the only result of the night either. Well, we'll see how long Wonder Boy's luck lasts. Well, whether it was luck or not, I'm telling you this, we're all going to have to watch ourselves, because this new geezer, he don't miss a trick. Well, things are going to change around here, and that's for certain. We'll see, personally, I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Well, you are a little ray of sunshine, aren't you, Vicky? Right. And we'll be going for breakfast, then. Yeah. Right, I'm off. I'll see you tonight. Bye. See ya. Back for a first night. You seen the relief? They're full of themselves. Yeah. Oh, they pulled together, most of them. I'll give them a chance. Can't make friends with everyone in one night. I don't think he cares about making friends one way or the other. I'd start worrying about yourself. I know I am. Why? Well, he's setting the pace, isn't he? Whatever pace he sets, we've got to match it. Well, he's got his way of doing things. I've got mine. As long as he respects that, there shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, but he's got the respect of the troops, and that's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, well, I'm not disagreeing with you. But? But there's more to being a good sergeant than having the relief's respect. They trusted Bob and they knew that he trusted them. 
That's why he was so good. I mean, do you trust Craig? Do you think he trusts you? Goodness me, you've lassoed someone at last. Not in the job. Changes his socks every day. Mixes a hell of a bloody Mary. Bliss. Murder then. Well, pretty theatrical way to commit suicide. 